Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're looking at the great Divi Wow Carousel plugin. You can create all kind of different carousels with this and we've demonstrated some of those before. Check them out in our Wow Carousel playlist below this video. Today we're going to put together this little product carousel. Fantastic little feature to have on your WooCommerce site. As you can see, it revolves the products around. If you hover over them, it's going to pause. And you've got a quick view, which will let you view the little product in a light box here. And you've got a little add to a cart button also. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. And you will need the Divi Wow Carousel plugin installed and activated to be able to do this today. So let's add a new section little blue button to add a section. I'll just make it a regular section and we'll delete what we've got going on top here. Just get rid of that. Okay, and I'm going to add a row. I'm going to put a single column in it. Divi comes with all the light grey modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. These blue ones here are ones from Divi Supreme Modules, which is another fantastic plugin. You want to check out that playlist if you're interested in that one. And these light gray ones here are more that you get with the Divi theme itself. When you've got WooCommerce installed, like I have on this site here, you get an extra dozen to help display your products here. That's great. But if we roll down a bit more, here are our Wow Carousel modules. And as you can see, it's card carousel, contents, Google reviews, image carousels, Instagram feeds, etc. Post carousels, logo carousels. And today, the one that we want is the product carousel. And I'm simply going to click on it. Let's move this over to the right here. And it opens up. First thing we would want to do is decide what content we want to display. Now, it's just taking a random selection of some of our products there. So let's have a look. I want to include those products. And I want it to show at least a dozen products in the whole line, not the, the amount that you see on screen, but the amount total this is. And you can exclude products by product IDs if you want to. And to get a product ID, just go to your product page, hover over the product name, and it'll show the ID underneath. Okay, and as you can see, it's got them rolling along nicely here. There's our little quick view button. There's a little cart button. We've got our title, price, and a star rating there. And there's three different flavors you can choose from. That's layout one. Let's have a look at layout two. Layout two has got our little quick view and add to cart buttons down below in this sort of footer section right here. And let's have a look at layout three. And layout three is it's got two bigger buttons down the bottom just below our image right here. And we've still got the details in the footer. I'm going to roll with footer number one or layout number one today. Okay, so we've done our categories. If we move down to elements now, you can choose what you want to show. Featured image is obviously the image there. Label. Well, we haven't got any labels. That would be like a sale label or something like that if you wanted to show it. I'm not sure if I've got sale items included in this. Yep, there's our little sale item label right there. So we'll keep that one on. You can show the category. Category is going to be up there. Show the price. We've got our price. Show the sale price only. Show a rating. I'm going to take the rating off. It's a little crowded with those stars down there as well. And you can choose whether to show the cart and the quick view. I like the quick view and cart buttons. That's I think that's what makes this little carousel really great. So let's and. You can choose to add a added to, to show the added cart message, which when you add it to the cart, will pop up a little message on top of the actual item saying this has been added to your cart. Actually, just did that right there. 
There we go. Just added that one right there. Okay. The modal elements are, are the things that pop up in your quick view right here. It pops up that model which I showed you earlier on. And you can choose to show categories, rating, price, and the short description there. Now down below we've got our carousel settings, general, animation speed, time it takes for this one to get to here, 700 milliseconds, that's fine. Autoplay, yeah, I want it to autoplay. Autoplay speed is 2000 milliseconds or two seconds, so it's going to take two seconds, pause on each one for two seconds. Now, navigation and pagination, there's navigation right there. And you can have both or one or the other. I'm just going to show pagination on mine, which are these little dots down here. You can choose to use a fixed width slide if you want to. Mine are all pretty much the same anyway, so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference with my one. And you can change the width of the slides right there. If you want to, you can apply spacing on the first and last item. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to add a bit of padding to our row in a minute when I make this full width. I want it to infinitely loop. If you turn that off, it'll stop when it gets to the last one. You can put a background behind these image and cards right here. Perhaps if I put a something that you can see in there, the yellow, it covers the whole of the area there. I don't particularly want anything right there. Okay, well let's move on to our design. In the general design, item padding, you can give them more space all around if you need to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Again, you can give it a background here, color or a gradient. I'm going to leave mine just as they are like that. Don't want any rounded corners or any borders. And I'm not going to put any box shadows. You've got various image options here. You can change the height hover animation you can sort of have it zoom in if you want and there's plenty to choose from I'll just leave it on zoom in and like I say there's plenty to choose from there image spacing gonna leave everything else just as it is right there we're not using an overlay if you want to put a color overlay over your image you can do so here or you can put a gradient and you can have an icon if you want an icon and choose the icon color down below. Okay, the label. Well, we have got a label on a few of these. And what I'd like to do, at the moment it's on the left top, you can offset it, so you can pretty much put it wherever you want. I'm happy with it to be on the left top there. And there's the padding for it. But the background color, I wanna use my little pink color that I've been using throughout this site. So I've got a little color picker here. I'm gonna grab that pink color, copy it, now let's change the label background. And as you can see, our label backgrounds changed there. And the text color, I'm going to make that white. There we go. Fantastic. Moving on down, you've got all the usual sort of text options that you want here. You can change the font, the weight of the font. And Divi, as I'm sure you know, if you watch any other more of my videos, it's got a fantastic amount of fonts. There's a huge number, and if you just hover over one, it'll give you an example of what that font's going to look like. I'm going to stick to the default for this demo today. Let's move on down some more, and here's the text. We've got various different texts. Common. I want to pop it into the middle here. I'm not going to give it any padding. And if we roll back up, we've got title. I'll leave that for a minute. I'm going to make it white in a moment because I'm going to put a dark background in there. And we've got category. Now I'm going to make the category the same color, that pink color. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And there we are. It's popped up the category right there. Fantastic. Okay. And if we roll back up a little bit more again, we've done the title, we've done the common, we've done the category. So we can move on down the buttons. Now the buttons are a little quick view and add to cart right here. 
So here's the quick view. You can change the height and width in the common settings right here, but I'm just going to go to the quick view. Background wise, I want to make that the same color, that pink color again. So I'm just going to paste my hex code in there. And I want the text to be white. There we go, just like that. And obviously you can have different colors if you want to here, but I'm going to have them the same. So I'm going to make that white and I'm going to use the pink color just there again. There we go, fantastic. It's so moving on down a little bit more. You may be wondering why the price is still over the left. Well, that's not part of our text here. That's actually in what they call the footer down here. So if we go into the footer, still on the design tab, and alignment wise, I want mine in the center. There we go. I'm not going to add any extra padding. For the price, I'm going to make that bold. I'm going to make it that same pink color. And I think I'll make it just a little bit bigger. Now, most of these are on sale, so we're going to have to affect the sale price to, for these to show up. So if I go over to sale price, again, I'm going to make this bold. As you can see, that's made that bold. We'll make it that same pink color. And let's just bring it up in size as well. Don't want it too big. Let's round it down to 16. That's fine. Okay, great. Okay, one more thing we want to do. You can change the little modal when you click on the quick view button here that pops up. You can add a background color or a background gradient if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. But the navigation, we're not using the pagination. I'm going to make those dots our little pink color. Common. That's all the ones that aren't active. They're pink. And I'm going to change the active one to actually white. You'll, do, you'll lose it on this white background. But I'm actually going to change the background color of our background in a minute. So pretty much everything we've got on our carousel is good to go there. So let's save our changes here. What I would like to do is make this full width. So let's go into the row, the green tab right here. I'm going to go to design, sizing, width I'm going to pull up to 100%. I'm going to copy that and put it in max width down below, or you can type it in if you prefer. As you can see, it's now full width. But I want a little bit of space left and right. So I'm going to close sizing and go into spacing down below. And we've got padding. I'm going to give it 50 pixels left and right. Just put in the 50. It'll put in the pics for you. Hit the chain, it'll put the right side. That gives us a little gap on the right and left sides right there, which is fantastic. Great. The last thing I want to do is just put a different color background in with our section here. Blue tab for the section. I'm going to hit the little cog. I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to use a gradient. Now I'll leave that blue in the top and let's just make it black on the bottom. There we go. And now I want to just change that title color in there because we can't see that very well back into the carousel. So it's blue for the section, green tab for a row, and dark tab for the actual module. And I want to go into design, text, title. And I want to turn that white. There we go. Save our changes. We'll go down and save the page changes, save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we go. There's our little automatic carousel with our custom styles. And we can go in there. We can quick view. And we can go in there. We can add it to the cart. And as you can see, we've got an added to cart message that pops up there. Really nice feature to have on your site. 
So once again, we've been using the WOW carousel to do this today, and it's got some fantastic options for all kind of carousels, and you can find the link below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.